short time ago, uh, this 18-count superseding indictment was unsealed against the WikiLeaks founder, Julian Assange. We've just returned from a Justice Department briefing with reporters where we got more detail that is now in this superseding indictment. The allegation comes down to this, that Julian Assange worked directly and encouraged Chelsea Manning to steal national defense information, much of which was at the top secret level, including information that documented the names of confidential human sources working for the U.S. military and the State Department in Iraq and Afghanistan, and that the release of that information put the individuals in exceptionally grave danger. What we learned at the briefing is that the pivotal month here is March of 2010, and in that period, it's alleged that Chelsea Manning provided the first set of records to Julian Assange, what's called the Guant Guantanamo docket. These are the assessments of the Gu Guantanamo detainees, including the 9-11 suspects. And then after that, it's alleged Julian Assange said to Chelsea Manning, basically, I think you can get more. And Chelsea Manning went back and got these intelligence assessments, uh, rules of engagement in Iraq, Afghanistan, and then the State Department cables. Really what's going on here for some context is that Julian Assange has now been arrested in Great Britain. And the question is whether he will be extradited to the U.S. for prosecution. This indictment uses elements of the Espionage Act. So that gives you a sense of how serious that is. What we were told today is that ultimately it will be up to a British judge. But this superseding indictment with 18 counts, many of which are under the Espionage Act, is kind of the strongest hand the U.S. can play to try and bring Assange back to the United States to face trial, Neil. And then what happens? All right, Catherine, thank you very, very much. You're welcome.